questions about that, then uh, we can conclude in a few minutes this teaching of the Diamond Sutra. One more thing I want to say about this Diamond Sutra that's very interesting. The Diamond Sutra is not the words on the page. It's not the words on the page. And the Diamond Sutra is also not absolutely nothing. Some people, when they hear this teaching, remember a few chapters ago, the Buddha said, if you hear this teaching and aren't shocked or frightened or intimidated, that means you have good karma. He says that a few chapters ago. Maybe someone can find it. He says about a, chap a couple chapters ago, whoever hears this kind of teaching and isn't frightened, oh my, everything is already, I already have it. I, uh, 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 oh my. Whoever's not frightened or alarmed or shocked or disturbed or confused too much by this, that means you have good karma. You realize something. From many lifetimes of practice, already your mind is prepared for this. And he says, you can't experience that. All of you, I don't see anyone jumping out of the situation here or running for the doors and screaming, pulling your hair out. Oh my God, this is too frightening to comprehend. Dude, I can't handle it. This is over the top, dude. No one's doing that. So that means... For many lifetimes, you have prepared your mind for this truth. That means you have approached this truth through many lifetimes of practice. The Buddha says that. Some people do hear this and go, nah, that's not real religion. Nah, that's all spacey, useless, intellectual stuff. But many of you have remained in the room until now. That means, in some way, you have prepared yourself for this teaching. So, one more step is necessary. Let's look at chapter 24. Chapter 24 says something about a little bit about what we should do about that. The incomparable merit of this teaching. The incomparable merit. So, already you have stayed this long. That means you're not attached to the name or form of religion. Already you realize you don't need a special form of a Buddha or a God or a religion or a truth or a teaching or a dogma or a creed or a theology. You know that all the highest teaching is contained in this point. You know it. There. <coughs> Already you have some sense of that. That's incredible merit. Now, the Buddha says, the incomparable merit of this teaching, Sabuti, if there be anyone who gives away in gifts of alms, in donations, if anyone who gives away gifts of donations, a mass of the seven treasures, you know, diamond, ruby, pearl, boom, boom, there's seven of them, whoever gives away a ton of them, a mass of them, equal in extent to as many Mount Sumeru, that's like Mount Everest, Whoever gives away that much, seven Mount Everests, let's say, of diamonds and pearls and this and boom, 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 as there would be in 3,000 galaxies of worlds, if there's one kind of person who gives that much, that's more than Bill Gates times a billion. That's Bill Gates' amount of money 